Hello and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. In this video, we'll take a look at how pre-processing can be used to validate your collected values and provide custom error messages in cases of unexpected or invalid values. Let's start by opening the item configuration form for the item that we wish to define pre-processing steps for. I will be demonstrating the configuration workflow on my temperature item. Start by navigating to configuration host or configuration templates and find the template or the host containing the item that we wish to define validation for. Click on the items button and find your item. Open the item configuration form and click on the pre-processing tab. We will validate if our received temperature is within a specific range. Select the in range pre-processing step and define the minimum and maximum range values. Mark the custom on fail checkbox to configure the pre-processing behavior if the item collects a value outside of the defined range. We will be displaying a custom error message, notifying us that the value is out of range. Press the Set Error To button and type in your custom error message. Once you have finished, press the Update button to save the changes. Next, we need to simulate receiving an invalid metric. Once an invalid metric has been collected, navigate to Configuration, Hosts, and find the host and the item used in the previous steps. You should see that the item is now in a not supported state and a custom error message is displayed next to the item. There are multiple other pre-processing validation steps that enable you to search for an error pattern with JSON path, XPath, or regular expressions. It is also possible to simply modify the received value or provide a custom error message if an item becomes not supported. Feel free to experiment with the different pre-processing steps and their position in your pre-processing workflow to achieve the desired result. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.